Hello and welcome to the Gadget Meister Hero Showcase. Gadget Meister is a mischievous support hero who excels at creating and controlling chaos on the battlefield. Gadget Meister's first ability is Reflection. He creates a clone of an enemy that he can control. If the clone dies, the host of the clone takes damage. Force Field is his second ability. He places a shield at a target location that prevents anything from entering or exiting that space. Blinding Light is his third ability. Gadget Meister fires a laser at the enemy that damages them and decreases their chance to hit. Time Bomb is Gadget Meister's ultimate. He throws a bomb onto an enemy that explodes and damages upon expiration of the bomb or carrier. The bomb can pass in between nearby heroes and increases in damage with each pass. If the bomb explodes while on an ally, it will do damage to them, but it is non-lethal damage. I mess up a potential first blood when, instead of using my enemy's clone to tower dive, I accidentally move myself and before I can fix it, I end up dying to the tower. My opponent is alone with high health, so my bomb is not able to pass to increase damage and fails to kill them. Remember to throw a bomb into a cluster of enemies to increase the final damage. Force field prevents white tiger from escaping, and my teammate and I are able to finish him off. My lane partner narrowly escapes the game, and I'm able to trap both enemies with the bomb. It passes around, then explodes, getting me my first kill. White Tiger sees my ally at low health, and decides to change targets. I use the clone to chase him down and help save my ally, as well as killing him with his own clone. Unfortunately, I trap my ally in a force field, and he nearly dies to the creeps. Here I toss my bomb at Pua Pua, and while it passes to one of his allies, it eventually ends up on one of mine and does a lot of damage to my team. Time Bomb gets passed back and forth but ends up on one of my teammates. Thankfully it only does non-lethal damage, so when it explodes like it does here, it doesn't kill any allies. My teammates dish out a lot of damage, but the enemies are able to escape, so I throw my bomb on White Tiger and pick up the kill. White Tiger could have saved himself here by handing the bomb to Yue, who could have survived the blast because she had full health. The key thing to be careful of when using force field is placement. I trap my three allies with an enemy and almost get all of them killed. Luckily all of them escape, but one. The increase in damage with each pass can add up quickly, and while no one dies from the initial blast, the enemy team is severely weakened from a perfect force field time bomb combo. Amongst the chaos, I'm able to trap the stealth unit in my force field and throw out my bomb. We kill the trapped enemy. The bomb exchanges between White Tiger and an ally, and when it explodes, it kills the enemy and actually saves the hero who's on. Time Bomb is so powerful that even after UA retreats to her fountain, she's killed while regenerating her health, which shows just because you are base does not mean you are safe. If you're looking for a fun hero with a powerful bag of tricks, look no further than Gadget Meister. Until next time, this is Pariah reminding you to check out the links below and visit us at areagames.com.